Spellcaster has requested a pug. So I'm gonna call my pug Muggsy. Anyways, um, we're gonna start with this head. Did you know the pugs are an ancient dog breed? They are originally from China. And a teacup pug, oh my gosh. They are as small as two to four pounds. They're just teeny. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so we're gonna start with this head's kind of crooked. So we're gonna do a, a square. This is gonna be a rounded square. So we have a square that's like rounded, dink, dink. And then this is like the center of it, okay? And then we're gonna find the center of his the square, this is so we know where the muzzle is. So this is good, good. So on that square, we're gonna put his, his mouth there. So right here, we are going to make a circle. It's gonna encompass this whole space. So we have a circle. Do, 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 do. And then on here, we're gonna do its nose. It's a little jelly bean and come down like this. I have a little piece there and then it's gonna go like curve up. All right, and you actually now we can erase this middle line. We don't need that anymore. So now we can connect that. Do, do, do. And then I put the shiny in there. So I'm gonna put a shiny in there. And then when you Sharpie, you're going to end up sharpening all of that in, okay? So on top of that nose, we are now going to do, okay, let's, we don't need this center line anymore. I'll show you how we're doing the eyes. Okay, so on top of this line, we're gonna make like a rainbow over it. This is so we know where the eyes are gonna be placed. So do the rainbow on top. It's gonna look better once it's sharpied. And then on that rainbow is gonna be his eyes. Muggsy's eyeballs. And if you look at pugs, they never look like they're looking the right way. So I'm making him. <laughs> looking the opposite way on both eyes yep and then we're gonna put shinies in there so we have a shiny and then a shiny and this we're gonna be with our sharpie we'll end up sharpening this whole thing in okay and in here so this is his bottom look we're gonna do three circles one two three one two three what else do I know okay the unique pug tail the little whoop um, is really cute, but did you know that it's actually caused by a spinal disease? So even though you think it's a cute trait, it's actually because there's something wrong, but it's darn cute. And then now what we're going to do is we're gonna do, so his face is coming out. So right here in the middle, we're gonna make his face, his little cheekies come out. So we'll do this on both sides. And then it's gonna come down like this. And you can see it's like connected below here. Like it just stops right there. So now you can erase the bottom part of these cheeks. Sorry, my nail looks disgusting. It, uh, eventually the, the nail's gonna come off, but I just have to wait. Yeah, joyous occasion. Okay. Now let's do his, uh, okay, so around here, we're not gonna Sharpie this part, but around here, this is gonna be gray. So don't Sharpie this in there. And then don't Sharpie this side. This is just where it's gonna be gray around the eyes. And then we're gonna do his eyebrows. So he's got a little eyebrows up here. And we're gonna give him a wrinkly forehead. So it's just gonna go down and then up. Now for his ears, we'll start on the side here. They're gonna go down and then up, and then they're gonna come over, and then you can bring it down like this. Actually, we probably wanted to go over a little bit more. I'm gonna go over just a touch more. Hold on. So I'm gonna, because we want it to actually kind of scoop into here more. So we're gonna scoop it in over his ear, and then we'll go down, and then up, and then we're gonna connect this. That looks way better. Okay, so same thing on this side. So we wanna be scoop. So scoop off a little piece there, bring it in. And then now we can do the top part and then we are going to make them connect. Oh, so cute. Works. And 
And now we're gonna put his collar in. So he has a piece of the collar here, and now you wanna double that collar. Perfect. This is his little chain here, his little doggy tag. You can make it however you want. I made mine look like a bone, so you can do two parallel lines, one parallel, I'll make it a little thicker. Two parallel, and then you're gonna make it boop, boop, there's a bone part, boop, boop. Make it erase in there. And then when we color, I'll show you how to make it look shiny like that. Okay, so, oh, and then I also made it look like it's connected there. And if you wanna put a couple of boop, boop lines in there, dots, you can. Okay, so let's do his body. So his body, we're just gonna make it look, we're gonna make it actually, we make the whole thing look square. So he has a square body, but we're gonna round it, okay? So then from here, down here, we're gonna cut that part off. To make this part go away. So it's kind of like loops here. When we sharp it, it'll look better. Oh, his tail, let's do his tail. It's gonna go like this and then swirl it and then go like this. Perfect, and then erase in here to connect. Super job. All right, so down here, this can be his foot, his little back leg connecting, and it's gonna, gonna make it connect. Whoop. I'm gonna erase that front part. Looks good. So now you want to connect. There we go. And now his little back foot is back here. So we're just gonna make a little back foot back there. All right, so let's do the front part. So it's gonna have front leg. So you're just gonna make a little foot. So it's about the same. You're like, okay, distance about the same, yeah. And then erase in here. And then do this one. So you can make this back leg about the same. Cute. Okay. And if you want to make a shadow, you can. I'm going to show you how I made his little bowl. So you're going to put a bottom part to the bowl. You're gonna put a dot on the top part and the top part is gonna be rounded to make an oval. And then bring a line across the oval and then you're gonna connect these like this. Now we're gonna put a bone in there. So we're putting parallel lines sticking out. So you can erase inside there. And then I'm gonna go bloop, bloop. And I put a little ribbon on here so it's like, look, you got a present. My cartoon bowl. And if you want, I can even put Muggsy on here if I want. So I'm gonna put your dog name. The person that requested this said that she has a black pug, I believe, or he. Somebody has a black pug, the person that requested. Muggsy, yep, I think that's Muggsy. All right, I'm gonna show you how to color, but first I'm going to Sharpie. So I just used, ooh, this isn't the best Sharpie, that's okay, put Sharpie away. Okay, now I'm gonna go around the outside and I'm going to give it a shadow underneath and I will color that in. Easy cheesy. I'm gonna erase now.
Time to color. So I'm first gonna start off with the thighs and I told you not to Sharpie, so we're just gonna put gray around here. So this is a gray rim. And I made it a little darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. So as we come up, I'm just gonna make it go lighter. What else do I know? Uh, because of the shape of the pug's skull, um, it's hard for them to breathe properly. If you've ever heard them, <laughs> they kind of sound um, a little clogged. <laughs> Anyways, that's just the way the shape of their skull is. When they, uh, many thousands of years ago, in China, their snouts were a little bit longer, but over the centuries, they have squashed. I don't know, just how it's gone. Okay, a little darker at the bottom. Anything else gray? No. And around the muzzle, I just did regular brown. So I'm just gonna color this in just brown. And even though they're cute as can be, I heard they have a lot of health problems which that would not be as fun. I don't know, is that true? Let me know if that's true or not true. I've never had a pug, I just think they're darn cute. Okay. Uh, and his ears, so I'm coloring this whole thing in just the brown. I'm gonna put some black in there too. So it's gonna be a little darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. But we'll put some black in there just to give it some extra oomphy. Um, oh, a pug dog is the official dog of the House of Orange. I had to look that up. I didn't know what a House of Orange was. Um, it is, the House of Orange is the Netherlands. Um, my husband actually is from Holland, so I should know the House of Orange. Yes, they're obsessed with orange. Um, and the reason why is in the 16th century, a pug named Pom Pompey saved the King William's life. I don't know how he was saved. Okay, so now I'm gonna take black. I'm gonna go black on the tips here. But after that, he was like, oh, thank you, thank you for saving my life. You are officially the coolest dog ever. And so then they made it the official dog. I'm like, cool, that dog was like, what, what did I do? Did I do something cool? So now I'm going to color the whole thing in. Looks like I did a undertone of golden yellow. So the whole thing is, oh, hold on. Let's get his eyebrows here. Color his eyebrows in brown. Okay, so I'm coloring the whole dog. The first layer is that golden yellow. We're gonna do about three layers on this, but we'll start with the golden yellow. I'm gonna show you just on his face because if you get this face, you can get the whole thing. So we got the golden yellow and go around his nose, not in his pupils though. And then we're gonna go around with tan. I want you to go around the outside with a darker tan. So you're just gonna press a little bit harder around the outside, around here, a little shadow, get a shadow in here, around the outside here. And then we're gonna make it darker right under here so it looks like there's a little bit of shadow under his chin. And of course along the top here. Oh, I also went around his wrinklies. So right around his wrinklies, I made them. Okay. And now I'm gonna go over this lightly, going in opposite direction than I did the yellow. We're just gonna give it a little warming up. This is just the tan. I'm just still going on with the tan. Fantastic. <gasps> what do I do? I give it pink cheeks. So I'm going to come in here and go one direction, another direction, and then I'm going to just kind of go a little bit extra in the middle here. Same thing on this side, one direction another direction, and then a little extra in the middle. Super, super fantastic, okay? Oh, I'm gonna show you how I did that down there. Okay, so you take your golden yellow and go around the outside of the whole thing. 
And then now we're just gonna do a couple of streaks across it. Almost like it's a wrapping paper. And then I took, you can take, if you wanna make it more golden-y, you could take brown, or I think I did, I think red, but I don't think it matters, just a couple of streaks across to make it look like it's like shimmering. And you can make this golden-y too. And then I just use regular blue. I might use a different blue because I don't think it's this blue, but this is just a blue, pick a blue, darker along here. And as you come down, just go lighter, darker, press darker here, and then go lighter there. And this is behind here, a little dark there. Okay, and then the rest, you're gonna do the same thing. Just do the golden with the tan and then his bowl. I made it darker inside here. and then do lighter on the outside. So I'm just gonna go light here. Fantastic. And I use a little magenta for his bow and I made him have a green background a little bit. I guess I didn't color it all the way in green. But anyways, hope you like it. Catch